Hello, and thank you for stopping by here. This is Lifestyle with Chin is Versatile, and I'm hoping that you are well wherever you are right now watching this. Don't forget to always subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, and of course to like this video, and also watch the other videos on this channel. I'm sure you'll find it very interesting. Of course, also comment if you find today's topic quite interesting. Okay, so today, um, I actually do mean very serious business here today. I, I really want us to talk about the major reason why this platform was created. You know, this is all about single parenting, lifestyle, and all that. So, but it's also good to have an understanding of who the term single parent really is. Because when you have an understanding of that, when you know what that phenomenon is, you will relate better to people who fall within that class, within that community. So if it's something you'd like to listen to, don't go nowhere. I'll be back in a bit. Welcome back. You're still here. Very good to know. Okay, so let's jump right into today's um, episode. So today we're going to be talking about who a, a single parent is. The term single parent, what comes to mind when you actually do hear about single parent? You know, I've been asking this on some of my other social media platforms. What comes to mind when you hear the term single parent? What exactly, how exactly do you feel when you come across a single parent? Um, do you feel empathy, sympathy? Do you feel judgmental? Do you feel critical? Do you feel aloof? Well, however you feel, it's a personal um, personal prerogative, okay? So we can't really force you to feel a certain way because our experiences are certainly dif different, right? So, um, but I would like to educate us, I'd like to clarify us on the term single parent. So first I would um, say single parent is a person who, um, who caters to one or more children, okay? So single parenting is a situation where you have one or more children living in a household with one parent. So like, you know, um, an ideal family system or an ideal family situation is where you have the father, the mother and children, right? So, but in a case where one person is absent, that is a single parent um, situation, a single parental home situation. All right, so that's that. So the single parenting situation could stem from, in some cases, it could stem from the death of a partner. So a situation where you have a husband and wife married for a while, and then due to sickness or an untimely death, one partner gets off. So the partner could either be male or female, either way. So leaving the other person a widow or a widower. So in such scenario, you have um, the other parent, now a single parent due to death. Okay, then we also have another one that is quite common, mostly found um, within the younger generation. And that is the situation of where we call it, we call it, um, we call it in our community, we'll call it never married. Okay, not yet married, not been married, single parent. So the never married single parent happened to be someone like um, a teenager who probably got raped and in the process found out she's pregnant does not want to abort that baby and decides to keep the baby, keep the pregnancy and eventually give birth, um, birth that baby. That's one scenario. Another scenario could be um, two people, a boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, having a nice time and eventually, um, you know, the female discovers she's pregnant and the male raises his hands up, no, I'm not responsible, or denies it outrightly, that he's not responsible, is not taking responsibility of that pregnancy. And that female decides to um, take responsibility, bear the responsibility of birthing that child. That is another situation. So in that case, that um, person becomes, um, that scenario, that um, lady becomes a single parent. And of course, it so happens that um, it could be the other way around. So now the lady, Maybe both of them accept, they ag agree to keep the child, and then when the child is born, probably the mother eventually passes away. The father has to stand in now and take responsibility. So in that case, he becomes a single parent. Another situation we have are married um, and separated. So we call them separated single parents. So a situation where you have um, two 
a couple are married and then due to irreconcilable differences, they choose to stay apart and they one person has to cater to the responsibility. And in most cases, this situation is usually, you usually find more women being in charge of parenting the child or children. But also another thing that could happen would be um, still due to irreconcilable differences, the man, as you find sometimes happen mostly in the African society, um, because the man ha is well-to-do or more comfortable than the woman, he would want to claim responsibility of the children, that's claim full custody of the children. In, in, in the law, in the eyes of the law, it's not actually supposed to be that way because a mother is, a is supposed to be the custodial um, parent of a child till they are probably about 16 or 18 years of age, depending on the country. But you find a situation where the man is highly influential or affluential, so he's got the connections and all of that, and he just wants to hurt the woman. Then you find such situations, the man would want to claim the rights over the children and would want them to be with him. Okay, so in such, uh, you also have it in, in at the customary settings too, you know, at the localities in the villages, you have some things like that. So we have that. So that's the separated um, single parenting situation. Then, um, and in that case, they are yet to eventually get divorced, okay? Then another um, situation of single parenting will be the divorced. So a single parent who, who, who became a single parent due to divorce. So it's either of both ways, either the man takes responsibility after the divorce has been done, and then they either have shared custody of that child or the man, depends on what the court gives, the man could be sole custodian or the woman could be sole custodian. In such situations, you also have um, them as single parents. So, um, but the term kind of changes if there is an understanding between both um, individuals that, okay, we're sharing this custody. So you have it as co-parenting. Okay, so don't forget the term, the single parenting, there's co-parenting, okay? So some families actually um, experience or, or share this um, aspect. So the co-parenting is another one. Then um, we have, um, I've talked about the never married, I've talked about separated, I've talked about um, divorced. Then um, another form of um, single parenting I would like to mention actually are people who eventually get to adopt a child. Of course, that still falls on the um, never married um, situation. Okay, you've not been married before, and then you choose to um, go adopt a child. Probably you couldn't get married due to age or whatsoever, and then you decide to take up responsibility of having a child, um, adopting a baby. And in such situation too, yes, you are a single parent. Now, there is something that um, kind of um, I think I should bring to the fore, and mostly because of married people who tend to discriminate against um, single parents. Now, in my society where I am from, remember I'm Nigerian, we, you can also inquire from other single parents that you might know about this. Now, you have situations where you present yourself, okay, I'll use myself for instance. I was actually married and um, um, right now I'm separated, okay, from my partner, but currently I am like sole parents of the children. Okay, so, in such situation, I go to my friends who are married, some of my friends who are married, and then, you know, we get talking, or sometimes, let me, let me use the scenario, rather, have, um, I'll use the scenario of, um, so I go to a place, and, oh, I get to introduce myself, and then I say, I'm a single parent, and they're like, oh, what's of your husband? That's where the mind goes immediately. Must I be married? And it's, when you say, oh, no, we're separated, oh, okay. Would you guys come back together at least because of the children? Okay, so, um, well, not that you will totally blame um, these people who think this way. It's just so unfortunate that the society in the African um, setting has rather placed, attached so much importance to marriage, such that when a woman is of age, of course of age means um, she's now Okay, maybe probably done with school, but not like everyone believes that a girl should actually finish school uh, or actually go through school. Yeah, so once she's done with um, with the studies or whatsoever, or even when she, the moment she's in her period, you're already a woman, you're ready to bear children, you're ready to be a wife, you're ready to, to, to run a home, that kind of thing. So it's not their fault that they had to think marriage instantly. But hey, the world is advancing. Okay, we're like in the future already. So certain decisions as marriage should now be more of a personal choice it should be more of a personal decision 
Do I really want to go this next step? Do I really want to be married? Do I want to be, you know, be a companion to somebody? So it's a personal decision an individual has to make for themselves. Okay, so that comes. And most times you are okay, you are all right in the eyes of um, the, the, the society if only your partner was dead. That is only when you, 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 they validate the purpose of you being a single parent. This actually happens in the gathering of married couple, mostly. You get, so I'm, I'm a single parent, I get into their the group, their circle, and they're like, oh, okay, so what happened to him? Did he die? So that's where the, what happened to him comes. They want to know if it was death that actually, so it's only then you're valid. But oh no, we're separated. Guess what? Really? Before you come and influence us, don't come and influence us to throw our own homes away. We know how to fight for our homes. Really? So what if it was my life that was at stake? So it's worth throwing my life away to come protect a home. Well, still, it is a personal decision, okay? So um, that is, th those are some of the views single parents often experience, okay, in uh, when, whenever they come across and come by. So most of the um, discriminations we face are mostly found amongst married couple, married women, married people. They always give us that kind of look. And it's very discomforting, I must say, very discomforting. I, for one, I personally stand my ground. I try to be more firm about my current state. And if I'm not okay with it, trust me, I won't even be in your face. But because I'm very comfortable with the situation at the moment, as I am experiencing, it should be none of your business. If you cannot send love my way, then please keep your emotions whatsoever to yourself. Yeah? So um, that's that. Now, I will run through some terms that will come across whenever you, these terms are related to um, single parenting. I'll run through this. You have something like a primary caregiver. You have parenting. You have mother, father. Okay? You have motherhood, fatherhood, separated, divorced, widowed. You have death. It's also a related term. It's related to the single parenting term. You have single. You have pregnancy, custody bonding, blending, um, fosters, um, separation, adoption, abortion, okay, divorce, visitation, welfare, never married, connecting, child care, you have needing, working, responsibilities, residence, you have um, solo works, custodial, you have relationship and family. I must also mention here, that it is always better to give a generalized term. It's just that I find that most people who use the term single mother, oh, I'm a single mother, they're trying to drop it. Probably, um, it's my own opinion, okay? Um, probably, I find it a lot more um, on this side of my um, circle, okay? So people tend to um, give off the, oh, I'm a single mother kind of presentation for people to have pity for them. I really think that's not fair, mostly because there are men who are genuine single fathers. So imagine every man, due to their pride, of course, men would not go around and say, oh, I'm a single father, I'm a single father. But you find a lot of women being proud to say I'm a single mother because they want to buy the sympathy of the person they're talking to. And likewise, you find that the most members of the society are more or express a lot more sympathy when they know oh she's a single mother than she's a single father well i will delve more into this in the following episodes after now after this because we really need to talk about the fact that men because of how overrated the term single mother has become it has made it has more or less alienated men and taking them off the um, capability of having to actually take care of the children. Personally, I know good men. I know men who are taking up the responsibility of taking care of their own child slash children, and they're doing a fantastic job at that. So let's 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 take our gaze off the single mother for once, and rather use a more generalized term as single parenting. That way, you accommodate everybody. That way, you accommodate that um, man who is really doing well, and then you're really giving him credence to whatsoever whatever effort, no matter how little he's doing.
not forgetting that some of these men actually might not have the children live in with them but they're taking care of them extensively through their family members so some of them might just have the children live in the homes of their family their other family members their siblings and all that and while they go about running around their um daily activities to make ends meet and make provision for that children so let's give these men Let's give the male folks who are doing well, who are likewise being mothers and fathers to their children. Let's give them some applause. Yeah, they deserve it. They do. Okay, so this is um, how far we'll come in today's episode. Let us just um, have this understanding about whom a single parent is. Um, in the next episode, I will talk about the challenges and misconceptions of single parenting okay so i want to believe that you learned something today i want to believe that there's been like a bit of a mindset shift if you happen to be that kind of person who discriminates against the single parent i want to believe that this has been able to enlighten you more and this way you have a better understanding about the single parenting community and they will and will be more accommodating now of members of this community thank you so much for your time um actually it wants to rain now so that's why um this place is going to be dark in case you're seeing this but if not then that's perfect thank you so much for your time thank you for subscribing thank you for always checking in thank you for always liking and commenting it is with love i receive every of your good gestures god bless you and love and light namaste